Thousands of athletes plus their family and friends are descending on Cleveland tonight. The opening ceremony for the National Senior Games is tomorrow. It's the first major event for the brand new convention center. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is live in downtown Cleveland tonight. And I guess you could say the convention center is opening in grand style, Paul. <laughs> Well, it really is, and they're setting up for the opening ceremonies tomorrow at 4.30. They're setting up right now, but 11,000 athletes from all 50 states coming to Cleveland to compete. The stage is set, the cauldron torch ready to be lit. The brand new convention center is being transformed into an Olympic style village. Workers streamlining the sign in area for athletes, a cell phone booster truck and cables brought in to supply cell phone service until permanent cell service is installed in a huge underground dwelling and lots of water. So let the games begin. We have our volleyball courts here. Um, we have 14 courts set for the competition. For volleyball, clearly we need to make sure that um, they're not playing on concrete surface. So these, this sport court, again, has been brought in by USA Volleyball. The convention center lighting can actually match the sport being played for optimal vision. One of the cool uh, con concepts of this lighting system in the new convention center allows you to turn it into different levels. Uh, right now we're only at 50%, um, and we're now going to be testing it to find out how bright we want it for volleyball since they'll be looking up at the ball. Parquet floors being lined for badminton competition. Workers inviting me to play a practice game while they tested the air conditioning vents to make sure the flight of the shuttle is not affected by airflow. Biking and running on Cleveland Street starts this weekend. Track and field at Baldwin Wallace, softball and Strongsville basketball right next door at Public Hall. That's the cauldron. The torch will light that tomorrow at dusk. At the same time, a huge fireworks display going off right over the convention center. So definitely going to be a fun couple of weeks, but they will be keeping an eye on the weather tomorrow afternoon. The Cleveland Clinic bringing in misters for water spray, tons of, of water. They'll have a water truck out here uh, as well, and paramedics keep an eye on the large crowd. Temperatures expected to soar into the 90s, but fun overall. And the weather cools off just in time for the games. Live from the brand new convention center tonight, live on 5, I'm Paul Kiska. Back to you.